That topic is one that is under litigation in the courts, so I will not be speaking to that. That is, again, something that I'm not going to speak to because it is currently under court. So you're court not going to answer the question? Uh, it is currently under court litigation. Again, under court litigation. So you litigation. refuse to answer the question? No, what I'm saying is it is under court litigation. Oh. We're speaking to the same thing. These are all uh, situations that are under court litigation. In closing, the rate of infectious disease threats that I have seen as CDC director should be a warning to us all. As a nation, we failed to heed the lessons from previous disease outbreaks. We are once again faced with opportunity. Collectively, we should focus our work on moving the agency and public health forward. Our response to the next infectious threat relies on how we come together and have pro productive conversations about supporting a more prepared America. I commit to further this goal in my last weeks at CDC and beyond. It's too important and too many lives are at stake. I hope you will continue to work with me and CDC to support sustainable public health investments and updated authorities that will protect the security of Americans by being better prepared for tomorrow's health threats. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Walensky. I now recognize the chairman of the full committee, Mr. Comer from Kentucky, for five minutes of questions. Thank you, Madam Chair. The CDC frequently communicated with big tech and social media companies to coordinate the censorship of posts that express skepticism or criticism of the COVID-19 vaccines. Dr. Walensky, is there a difference between medical opinions and misinformation? There are things that are scientifically proven over and over again in the literature, and those right. eventually become fact. But I think that there are ways to interpret that. that, that exactly. Re reasonable people disagree on, on a medical path forward, correct? I mean, that. Yeah, but I would also say that when there is increasing science, um, that leads to facts that more, more and more people then generally agree. I mean, patients often are advised to get a second opinion on, on medical advice. Uh, CDC records, however, show that CDC officials sometimes flag social media posts which they deem to be misinformation. My question is, did the CDC work with private companies to influence a censorship of dissent about vaccines? Um, you know, that topic is one that is under litigation in the courts, so I will not be speaking to that. Recently, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that during the COVID-19 pandemic, the establishment kind of waffled a bunch of facts and then asked for a bunch of things to be censored that in retrospect ended up being more debatable or true. Did the CDC work with Meta or I like to call it Facebook still to censor or otherwise alter any post? Here's what I can tell you. The most important thing that has gotten out, us out of this pandemic, I think, is our vaccine and how well they work and how I, safe I they are. I understand that. And it was really important that the American people understand how well they worked I, I, and how I, safe I they are. I understand it. Um, did, but, did, did, but in terms of the communications, that is, again, something that I'm not going to speak to because it is currently under court. So you're court not going to answer the question? Uh, it is currently under court litigation. I hear that so much on everything we do. It's, uh, it's currently under investigation. Did the president take a bribe? Dr. Jackson is currently under investigation. Did the CDC ever work with Facebook to craft internal policies on censoring posts regarding the COVID pandemic? Again, this Can't is something that? that is under court litigation. What I will say, though, it is so very important to get correct factual information out to people to understand the overwhelming benefit of these vaccines over the very What about Twitter? Risks. Can you answer that? I, I, again, under court litigation. So you litigation. refuse to answer the question? No, what I'm saying is it is under court litigation, oh. and I will say that the most important thing that we were working towards at CDC is to get facts out to people so they understood in plain language okay. what was but, but important, which is time, the I'm going to reclaim my timer. Facebook's policy on coronavirus misinformation dated February 8, 2021, said that it would purge, quote, false claims, including the notion that COVID-19 is man-made or manufactured. Director, did the CDC ever recommend that Facebook or other companies censor posts promoting the lab leak theory? We are all, we're speaking to the same thing. These are all uh, situations that are under court litigation. I will not be speaking Did, did to the CDC ever recommend that Facebook or other companies censor posts suggesting that vaccines did not prevent the infection or, or spread of COVID-19? 
Can what was them? most important to CDC was to get information about how well the vaccines were working and how safe they are. And, um, you know, many of the questions, all of the questions that you're asking are along the same lines. They're currently under litigation in the courts. In, in, in one email, a CDC official tells a Twitter employee that, quote, CDC is working on a project with census to leverage their infrastructure to, to identify and monitor social media for vaccine misinformation, unquote. And that they would, quote, like the opportunity to work with Twitter's trust team on a regular basis to discuss what they are seeing, end quote. So, Director, did the CDC work on a regular basis with Twitter or other companies to monitor or censor vaccine misinformation? Congressman, my that? answer is the same. It's the same, it's the same line of questioning. We wanted to get important information out to the people so that they would favor vaccines because they were working. They were preventing severe disease and death. I understand. But it turns out that some of the perspectives that the government censored, like the lab leak theory and some questions about the vaccine, were, were correct all along. But the government censored that. A lab leak is possible. I would go even further to say the lab leak is probable. Uh, even some in the, in the government have admitted that. The vaccine did not stop spread or infection. I'm not saying it was completely bad, but it did not stop the spread or infection. I think actually, if I could actually um, just correct that point, and that is initially it did. For the Wuhan strain and for the alpha strain, all of the early data and the literature published in the New England Journal demonstrated that for those who worked, if you didn't get infected, that you were not transmitting it to other people. And it had very high efficacy early on, up to 96%. Well, I, so and, and it did change the, over time. I, said, I, I hate to interrupt, but my time's expired. But the, the, that's something that this committee is going to continue to investigate. But with respect to censorship, uh, censoring dissenting opinions is unacceptable. And that's something else that this select committee needs to investigate. Uh, we don't need to see that ever happen again. And I look forward to trying to present the truth to the American people about what role the government played in censoring dissenting medical opinions, which may well prove to be true. Madam Chair, I yield back. 